So I've got my right on EED in, and it's an enclosed emitter. It looks pretty robust. The glass is clear, comes with, you know, a carry cloth, something to wipe off the limbs it lenses with. It comes with your Allen screws and, or excuse me, Allen wrenches and whatever you would need to mount it. However, it doesn't come with, it may not come with the exact screws that you need. Um, you're probably gonna have to resource some screws. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to put it on my mechanic rival And in order for that to happen, I had to, I had to go resource some screws. Uh, it does have a shield base to it. It actually has two of them. There's a shield base and then there's another one. I can't remember the name. But this one is, but, um, it, it is, um, it's not hard to find the screws if you go to Ace. But you want to take both, let's say your slide, if, if it doesn't have a, a, a base plate that goes on it like this one does, it's just integrated. You know, or you want to take your base plate and the plate that comes with the right on ED. And what I found out, it takes an M5 pitch but the head of the screw is too big. I have an M5 pitch with the, the head of the screw being what I need it to be. So I had to opt for a 640 pitch. I know, that's standard, not metric. But I had to opt for a 640 pitch so it would fit in there. So we're gonna give that a shot. So this plate is going to go on my slide, and then this plate will go on this plate, and then the right on D will go on there. So, uh, let's take two. Okay, now that I got my, both my plates on here, I got the plate that came with the candle rival and I got the plate that came with the right on tactics, uh, three tactics EED. And I got it torqued down. Now I'm gonna take my EED. I had already loosened up the tension rod. Uh, enough, I think, to slide it on there. I I don't want to tighten it too tight. So there's that. So it looks like kind of big, but hey, whatever. Now the the right on Tactics Three Three Tactics EED. It comes with this kind of cool tool here to take off the battery cap. Place your CR2032 battery in it, and then you can tighten it back down. So that's pretty cool. So that's what it looks like with just the slide. We put it back together. With the slide on, but yeah, it is pretty big, um, but You can really adjust this down with the, the the intensity. You can adjust the intensity down or up with either side. And if you're going to do competitions or anything of like that nature, you want to be able to brighten that up real bright. Now this is shake weight technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to see how long it takes for the right on optic to turn off after I set it down. 
Okay guys, so here's the here's the optic itself. Now that is not how big the dot is, okay? We're just zoomed in so it looks massive. Alright? The dot is not that massive, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on all the way on the intensity. Okay? There's the, all the intensity there, okay? And now, okay, good. I'm gonna shake it and then we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna see how long it takes for it to turn off. All right, so we'll be back on the wall. Well, it looks like it turned off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shake it and see if it turns on immediately. Look at that. As soon as I moved it, it turned off immediately. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom out and then I'll show you the intensities of the lowest intensity to highest intensity. Okay, so that's it's um, about as good as I can get it right there. And I'm all the way zoomed out. Yeah, I'm all the way zoomed out. So I'll go all the way down on the intensity level. Okay, so it's all the way. Let me turn off the light real quick. That's basically off. Now I'm gonna go up. You can see it there. So that's a, as bright it goes. And that's kind of what you're going to see. It's not going to be perfect for sure, but uh, you can get an idea. And it has positive click to it, so that's cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take my Mantis laser academy cartridge and i'm gonna put it in my firearm and that is going to give me a laser when i go to fire this and what i'm going to, what i'm going to do is i'm going to superimpose the dot onto the laser now is this going to give me an absolute zero no but it's going to give me close and the further away you can do it the better. I want it on its lowest setting when I go to zero, okay? So, then I'm gonna pull the trigger. And it's pretty much right on, right on the spot right there. It's a little bit right. Yeah, it's a little bit right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the red dot to superimpose where the, the laser is actually coming out of my barrel. Um, and they should be matching pretty much exactly. Okay, so everything's working well. Next thing I'm gonna do is put the cool fire system in and shoot it a couple of times. Make sure it cycles with this blocky <laughs> red dot on there. Uh, I kind of like it. Um, it's goofy looking at first, but I kind of like it. <laughs>